started this project, six full years. And I remember when I started this project, I told you we would end this project in six full years. Well, ladies and gentlemen, works of Sabat Minds, I have a new deal for all of you. We will not be ending this project. In fact, we will continue this project until we are the most profitable industry in the entire world. I will make sure that Mr. Washburn here make sure we are all pulling our own weight. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be afraid. We will become so profitable that we will all be retiring by the age of 40. That's right. Mr. Washburn, take care of the mines. Soon, Sabat Diamonds will be the most powerful industry in the entire world. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Now, well, let's go back to work. Uh, you heard the man, retirement by 40. Now, Go get some diamonds! Go ahead. You know, Carter, I told you that I wanted this facility completely mined by now. I told you that you had six years. Why haven't you finished? Um, well, sir, it's a large island, and most of the mines run deep into the ground, and I only have so many workers, and most companies import... Incompetent fool! You make up all of these excuses, but the true reason is that you are an imbecile. You are not a good enough businessman, nor a good enough leader to do this job. I told you that you had six years so that I could come back here and blow this mine to kingdom come, workers included. I also hear that you've been trying to attain legal grants and paperwork for these mines. Do you care to explain? You were going to kill all these people? Oh, Mr. Sabat! You brought most of these people here when they were children. I know yeah. my own company, Carter. Now tell me, why were you getting legal paperwork? Well, I figured if we ran it more legally, then it'd be a little more profitable and we'd be able to get a No, lot Carter, it will not help. This is my island. I am the law. Don't you realize that if anyone found out about Sabat Diamond Mines, my whole company would go down the drain? You see, I am the most powerful man in the world. And the best part is, nobody even knows that I've done anything wrong. Carter, I think you've been doing this job for quite long enough. Ah, uh, no, Mr. Sabat, ah, uh, I can become a better leader, you know, I, you know, if I just work at it a little more, uh, you're not gonna fire me, are you? Fire you? Carter, I thought you knew me well enough by now. Firing you would be too dangerous. How would I know that you wouldn't splurge information? The only way to be sure that my company is safe is to kill you. Uh, kill me, Mrs. Washburn. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Washburn. So as you can see, the law of signs is actually very simple. We'll start out with the sign of A, which is the sign of 45 degrees over side A, and make that equal to the sine of B over 9. Multiplying both sides by 9, we end up with 9 sine 45 degrees over 7 equals the sine of B. Because 45 degrees equals the square root of 2 over 2, the side of the equation becomes 9 square roots of 2 over 14 which equals the sine of B. And taking the inverse of this side, we solve for angle B and we get angle B equals 65.39 degrees. That's right, Adele. And as you guys can see, it's really easy using the law of sines to figure out your triangles here. You can use any of the, the angle and side pairs, like your A's, B's, and C's up here together to figure out a number of different triangles, like triangles that give you an angle, an angle, and another side, or an angle, a side, and then another angle. 
You also have to watch out for a third type of triangle, which is the side-side angle triangle. And this type of triangle can actually give you more than one answer. Do you want to explain, Hector? Surely, Adele. The side-side angle, that's the ambiguous case. When you have these types of triangles, you can get two possible answers. You take 180 degrees, subtract your solved for angle to find what we call an obtuse angle. If you take that obtuse angle and add it to the given angle, if the sum of those two angles is less than 180 degrees, you can have two possible triangles. Thanks for so watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. You did an awesome job with that presentation. So did you. I really think we got through to everyone this time. You know, I really think we're lucky that math comes so easy to us. Well, it comes easy to you, because you're like a genius. Oh, stop it. No, no, no. I think you're definitely as smart as I am. But anyways, what are you doing Friday night? Um, nothing. Alright, well, do you want to hang out or something? Maybe watch some TV? Sure. Alright, sounds good. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Mr. Shabbat, are you okay? Yes, yes, Julie, but it seems that dear Mr. Washburn has committed suicide. He was such a good employee. But why? Poor guy. It must have been the stress that did him in. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, look, there's his gun. I'll, I'll take that. Yes, thank you. Um, now, tell me, um, you there, ma'am, what's your name? Emily Rosher. I've worked here since I was a kid. Really? Well, I have a new job for you. Because of your hard work, you have earned the job as manager of this mine. Here's your desk right here. Thank you, sir. Now, just make sure that you meet your monthly quotas. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, and you, dispose of this body. Yes, sir. I'm nervous about the whole thing. My mom thinks that I'm hanging out here for the weekend. So she didn't buy the NSA store either? No. Well, my mom yelled at me too, but um, I don't know. I, uh, it will be alright. I'll take care of you. Alright, I know you will.